and it's that's a, completely separate. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't in any way conflate those two in, in terms of argument. I'm, that people will continue to eat meat. So we have to find a way to make that ethical and kinder to animals. This kind of footage is not seen. They hide this. No. So the truth isn't no. there for people to see. Exactly. Like exactly. I thought cows produce milk because they eat grass. Okay, if you had the option, let's make it simpler, to either pay for this or to boycott it and not pay for this, what would you choose? I, think it, I don't think stepping away from it completely is the answer because you are talking about people's livelihoods as well. So it's The only reason this happens is because the public pay for this. Mm. And the only reason it's going to stop if we stop paying for it. Yeah. Oh, um, animal rights. Oh, okay. I thought it was on the beach and the birds, but it's not. I can see it's the chickens, yeah. Yeah, so we're showing yeah. industries... Poultry farms. Well, all industries that exploit animals, mm. including meat, eggs, dairy, fish, mm. leather, wool. Have you ever seen any kind of footage like this before? Some on TV, limited. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. quite shocking, isn't it? It is. Oh. It is. I was going to say, what, what do you think when you see that? What's your feeling? It's upsetting. It's upsetting yeah. and you feel everyone's got responsibility. Absolutely. Would it be safe to assume you're against animal abuse? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But I think probably like a lot of people, I feel I'm a bit of a hypocrite because um, I try to look for the healthiest food in terms of how the animals have been treated or yeah. how they appear to have been treated. Yeah. Um, so looking for the tractor symbol, etc. But price always comes into it as well. Yeah, and I think well, that's the same for a lot of people. I used to be very similar to you. Um, I've always been against animal abuse mm. and I used to pay for this. Mm. And so I'm not judging here or anything. Mm. But when you see this kind of footage, do you think there's any sort of justification for what happens to animals? Um, I'd also like to tell you as well, this is RSPCA approved, right. organic, yes. free range, yes. red tractor approved too. Yeah. So this is like yeah. your standard practice. Yeah. No, there's no excuse, no excuse. But it's, it's um, I mean, it's been happening for decades and centuries that, that humans basically take advantage of animals. Yeah, We yeah. think it's our, our given right, don't we, yeah. to exploit why, them. Yeah, why do you think that is? I think it's just the way we've, we've always operated and we need to be re-educated, don't we? I love that, yeah, we need to be re-educated. You're absolutely right. Do you think we do this because of our conditioning and culture? It's been yeah. normalised. Yeah. yeah, I think there's a lot of that, yeah. 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 So, seeing what's happening on there, and you're saying that there's no justification, what would stop you from paying for this? Um, I think, actually, if it wasn't an exorbitant price, I think most people would be prepared to pay a bit more to know that the animals have been treated well. Um, and I think we could all stretch it and make the right decisions. And I think we could also probably cut back on the food waste. So probably better quality and less of it is, is the answer. <laughs> From the animal's point of view, do you think the quality and waste is even part of this because we're looking at it from their mm. perspective right oh from their from their perspective we, we've got to start with their rights i mean they're sentient creatures aren't absolutely. they absolutely the yeah end of the day. i like that you've got to start with their rights because yeah. like you said we've got to look at this from the victim's perspective yes yeah. because this is them they are the victim yeah absolutely it's not about us so prices and things is like irrelevant when you said like you look at the best welfare and things do you think there is a good way to kill somebody who doesn't want to die no, there isn't, of course. There yeah. isn't. I think, though, there's a reality check here that not everyone is going to become a vegan or a vegetarian. Yeah, well... OK, so I think we have to accept in this world that we are going to be meat eaters. Humans will be meat eaters. Um, and that in itself is probably ethically wrong because why are we killing another living you, you sound like you're very <laughs> conflicted it is conflict. i think this is i think this is the problem it is it is conflictual i don't think it's straightforward at all and i think you have to embrace that okay. in coming up with I'll just a way go back forward. to your your original point was saying that um you don't think everybody will become vegan just because everybody doesn't do something do you think that makes it okay for us to do it like um, no, absolutely everyone, not. Absolutely we can't not. stop people killing other people, but we know that's wrong. We just don't contribute to yeah. that. Just like at one stage, everybody, most people used to have slaves. But yeah, that's, that's now changed. But it was culturally acceptable and it was legal to do so at one point. But we've evolved to realise, no, we should never do that to somebody else. I think it's. Um, I think that's a, that's a different argument, although <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> that's a, completely separate. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't in any way conflate those two in, in terms of arguments. I'm not saying but that they're about the same. The, but talking about the food issue, I think we have to have a reality check and not live in uh, as if we're in a utopia, idealistic world. 
that people will continue to eat meat. So we have to find a way to make that ethical and kinder to animals. So I think that's the answer. So I wasn't saying those injustices are the same. Yeah. I'm saying like people were brought up into a world where slavery was normed, the normal yes. thing to do. Yes. And they couldn't ever imagine slaves ever having freedom. No, but it's of course. A, it's, I'm not saying it's the same as this, yeah. but animals currently don't have freedom and they're being exploited, like you said, mm. and you said you're against this. Yet yeah, the world may not go vegan, but I'm talking to mm. you today. Do you think there is a justification why you will continue to pay for this when you know you don't have to? What do you mean in terms of paying for? So every time you pay for meat, eggs, dairy, fish, yes. liver, wool, experiments yes. on animals, makeup and things that aren't vegan and cruelty free, you're paying into this industry that you're against. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. Do I you hear what think... you're saying. I think probably there needs to be better education and awareness. I yes. think more information maybe on packaging, doing what you're doing today, absolutely making people yeah. aware of it so they can make informed decisions. Yes. And I think you'll find the majority of people do want to be kinder to animals. I agree. And I think that is the perpetual conflict. Yeah. That you will have lots of people who are who will say they're animal lovers, but they will still buy the meat. Would you say then that's a lip service, that's not putting ac your words into action, that's just saying yeah, I think you it love is, because... But I, I think it is, but I think it's not always that simple for people. I think you have to accept that, that humans can't always make those straightforward decisions and they need help in doing so. Yeah, and I think as well, this kind of footage is not seen. They hide this, no. so the truth isn't no. there for people I, to see. Exactly. Like, exactly. I thought cows produce milk because they eat grass. Yeah. I didn't know the torture and suffering in the dairy mm. industry or the egg mm. industry. Mm. Right there, the male calves, mm. a few days mm. old. Do you know why mm. they're doing this to them? No. Because they don't produce milk. Right. So they're a waste product. Yeah. They're calling That's, a baby animal a waste yeah. product. That's incredibly sad, yeah. It's and they incredible. kill yeah. them yeah. because people pay for dairy. Yeah. Okay. Just the little babies. It's, it's awful and it needs to, there needs to be more spoken about this in chair. Yeah. But if you, okay, if you had the option, let's make it simpler, to either pay for this or to boycott it, and not pay for this, what would you choose? Well, I would boycott it. I would, in, in, a, in an ideal world, all factors being equal, I would boycott it. Okay. That's what I'm going to say. So, yeah. so yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll bring yeah. it down to this. You have the option today to either continue to pay for this or you just move your hand in the supermarket and buy plant-based milk, Uber, oat milk, soy milk, rice milk, whatever milk you prefer yeah, I hear you. over I this. Hear you. And I don't think that's the absolute answer. I think you need. I think you need to get into the agricultural, the farming industry, and educate and improve and assist. I think that's I think the answer I, I as well. I don't think. It, I don't think stepping away from it completely is the answer because you are talking about people's livelihoods as well. So it's not quite as simple as that. But that's that's like a how problem as well. Remember, we're looking at it from the victim's perspective. Absolutely, but yeah. you've also got to think about the farming community and their livelihood. So it's not that simple. Yeah. But thank you. Forgive me. I'm going to have to go because we've got we've got. Just remember, but... every day you're not vegan, yeah. you're going to be paying for this. The only reason this happens is because the public pay for this. Mm. And the only reason it's going to stop if we stop paying for it. Yeah. And no, you I have do. the power to stop right this second. I do hear what you're saying. I'm going to leave you the car. Thank you for doing what you're doing because I think we can all make at least some small changes, can't we? As would, if you were the victim and someone said small changes or just stop no i hear I yeah hear what you're saying yeah because if i was a victim i wouldn't want someone just to be like mm. oh you can kill my husband to today but then leave me and then maybe eat me next week do you know what i mean it's not good enough for the victim because they're they have an individual like life they yeah. care about their own individual life so no i hear what you're saying but i think I think it has to be looked at as a global issue, would, as, as in all a holistic issue. I not, would disagree not just that. this comes to supply. This is all happening because of supply and demand. Yeah. If you yeah, pay for it, yeah. they will kill more yeah. animals, force yeah. them into existence. That's very to true. Fill the so shelves. you've got to change people's attitudes and, yeah. Yeah, and buying and, habits. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just moving your hand. Do you think it's harder for you to move your hand in the supermarket, or do you think it's harder for them in a slaughterhouse? Well, quite. I mean, that's obvious, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. You, you know, have, I, I make that choice. They haven't got a choice. Exactly. So, so thank you for what you're no doing. No worries. Okay. I'll give you that card. Lovely. Thank you. Very much. Check out on there the yep. best speech you'll ever hear. Yep. You have a vegan heart, it's just a line yep. in your actions with your morals. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much for stopping. Have a great day. What you're doing. Thank you.